ninjas. Ninjas, 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 effing cyborg ninjas. Back in the NES era, you couldn't step five feet into a video game store without running into some sort of ninja gang. You had Ninja Gaiden, Shinobi, Legend of Cage, Ninja Kid, Ninja Crusaders, and three different Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. But we're not talking any of those. Today's awesome game is Ninja Jetta Maritoon, a spin-off slash, sequel slash, rip-off of Ninja Coon by Jaleco slash UPL. The reason it's sort of a rip-off is because Jaleco, one of the more prolific game developers in the NES era who made games like Spaces Loaded and City Connection, was responsible for porting the original Ninja Coon title to the Famicom from the arcade made by UPL. But they all ended up using the same character to make a plethora of games and pretty much make them the company's mascot. Now, the first game in Jaleco's Ninja Kun series was Ninja Kid, an arcade action game taking place on the side of a mountain where the objectives were simple. To kill every ninja. It was a fun little title with catchy music and pretty fun gameplay. But then in 1985, Ninja Kun, the sequel, was released in Japan and it actually had plans to be imported to North America, but never came to fruition until 2009 when it finally debuted on Nintendo's virtual console. The game stars Jajamaru, the little brother of Ninja Kun, who goes on a quest to rescue Princess Sakura. Now, the title plays like a combination of Donkey Kong's maze exploration and Ninja Kun's shuriken infested action. And like any good ninja game, there's a ton of power up to give Jajamaru Kun an edge against the strange karate penguins, uh, upside down umbrellas, maybe, and who I assume is La Parka. Did I mention when you collect enough power-ups that you summon a man-eating frog? It's a man-eating frog! It's a frog that eats people! Sure, it looks cute, but this fucker that digests you faster than you say it ain't easy being green. You know what's really cool about Jajimaru? He's one of the few NES protagonists that can actually touch their enemies without dying. Mario, Link, tons of others get hurt by just touching an enemy. How does that even work? Why does touching a turtle instantly kill you? Ugh, whatever. It still dies the same way. Which is also weird. Did people in the 80s fall through the ground when they died? Did I mention the music? It's short but really catchy. Prepare to have it in your head all day. <laughs> Con Holdings, and now they work in real estate. Weird. It's like Microsoft getting out of the game and computer business and opening up a fast food place. Anyway, we're having awesome ninja gameplay, a subtly increasing difficulty, and crazy music. Ninja Judge about a is awesome. Yeah, God.